Welcome to Camp Arroyo Grande. With 29 acres of open space just steps from the village, it's hard to believe that in a recent survey, 80% of locals did not know about the camp. So what is Camp Arroyo Grande and what does it bring to our community? Let's start at the beginning. In 1885, John Beckett donated the land behind the Methodist church and created the Methodist camp. What Mr. Beckett and the Methodists wanted to create was a gathering place in the centerpiece of the camp is the tabernacle, constructed in 1897. The 12-sided design represents the 12 disciples. This historic gathering place was built by the community with a fundraising campaign gathering $1,400 for materials and citizens completing the 4,000 square foot structure in just six weeks. The tabernacle was not built just for locals. At a time when the Rio Grande population was under 500, the tabernacle was built to bring people to the community for Chautauquas. The Chautauqua events had begun growing in popularity across America during the 1880s. For days, people would hear traveling speakers share new ideas on current events, politics, philosophy, and religion. These were the TED Talks of their time. Important topics such as prohibition and women's suffrage were introduced and debated at Chautauquas. Trains would bring people from as far as LA and San Francisco in the early 1900s, with up to 2,000 people at a time coming for Chautauquas. Many stayed. It was a time of the Chautauquas that the city grew, and most of today's historic buildings were constructed in the early 1900s. By the 1920s, radio caused the demise of Chautauquas, and the camp was continued to be used by the Methodists for retreats, family vacations, and summer camps but the camp was underutilized and expensive to maintain. By the time the camp turned 100, the Methodists had wanted to sell the property and the future of the camp was uncertain. When the sale of the property to a housing developer became known, the community rallied, urging City Hall to stop the loss of this community gem. But who could buy the land and make it into a community resource? In 2017, the Five Cities Community Service Foundation, a foundation created by the Five Cities Men's Club, answered the call. The property was renamed Camp Arroyo Grande to reflect its availability to everyone and preserve its mission to serve the community. But what they purchased was a camp in a state of disrepair. Cabins needed more than cosmetic work. So camp staff and the Five Cities Men's Club went to work, fixing up cabins and improving the land, creating an environmental education camp for youth. With the help of generous donors and other community groups, camp also added ADA showers and bathrooms, refurbished the dining hall, and refinished the swimming pool. An outdoor amphitheater was under construction in 2019 and it was used by camps and environmental education programs for gathering places. By 2019, Camp Arroyo Grande was operating year round, hosting 100 plus children each week. Then COVID stopped everything. As the pandemic stretched past a few months, the camp continued to have operating costs, but zero camp use. To survive, the camp converted the campground for everyone to use cabins were converted from a dozen sixth graders to families. And lodges changed from youth education centers to family gathering spots. Families could also bring RVs or just pitch a tent. The commercial kitchen was put to use by Wild Bread Company and catering companies. And in 2021, most of the summer camps return. But summer camps are not enough to support the camp year round. And the Kern County group that was using the camp nine months of the year purchased their own property in 2020, so the buses will not be returning to Camp Arroyo Grande post-pandemic. So what is the future of Camp Arroyo Grande, if it's not for youth programs? And how can we make Camp Arroyo Grande even more relevant to everyone who calls our small city on the Central Coast home? Well, we want to go back to the roots, back to how the camp got started as a community gathering place. We're planning a spring celebration to celebrate the history of the camp and recreate some elements of the Chautauquas. The Harvest Festival Committee is planning a dance on Harvest Festival weekend. And the camp is being made available for private events. Events for companies, families, and nonprofits to hold their meetings and workshops, hold family picnics or pool parties and reunions. But the camp still needs some work to be a great meeting venue. And our centerpiece is where we're focusing our attention. While past remodels focused on cabins and grounds, the tabernacle is in need of some repair. Over the 124 years, the woodpeckers have destroyed the spire and the roof is in dire need of replacement. So 
can we bring back this historic gathering place to its original glory? We plan to do so for its 125 year anniversary next year with a renovation and landscaping. Our goal is to transform this picture today into this. Returning to the original whitewashed look, repairing the roof and spire, and doing interior upgrades. The landscaping will all be drought tolerant and native plants. Even the lawn seating above the amphitheater will be artificial turf to be good for our water usage. And nearby will be an oak grove and oak tree nursery. The tabernacle at 4,000 square feet can host up to 150 people for dinners at weddings, Christmas parties, and baby showers. In the meeting configuration, we can get up to 200 people for church services and community groups and seminars. In the interior, it can transform into a magical place for school dances, quinceañeras, and weddings. And when you host a wedding at Camp Arroyo Grande, it's a private, all-inclusive location with lodging for up to 70 people. From rehearsal dinner until the morning after recovery, you never have to leave the camp. And imagine exchanging your vows perched high above the city and valley of Arroyo Grande. To achieve these goals, we're launching our Tabernacle at 125 campaign. We need $350,000 to fulfill these goals, and we've already got commitments that allow us to start the Tabernacle restoration and build historical displays in the dining hall. Additional funds are needed to complete the landscaping, the oak grove, and a dining hall deck, as well as pavers around the amphitheater. The best part of our fundraising campaign is that Roy and Bonnie Burke are matching up to $125,000 from community supporters, so we're already well on our way. Please join our board of directors in bringing Camp Arroyo Grande back to the community. With your help, we'll mark the 125 year anniversary of the Tabernacle as a beginning of another 125 years as a historic gathering place for our community. I thank you. Please click on the Friends of Camp Arroyo Grande link to learn how you can be part of the camp as a volunteer or as a financial supporter.